to explain uh, supersonic wind tunnel and we have on a few concept related to stress stress of the flight the space bodies right here see this is a flight body and we are having on a dome shape this shape is fully related to the concept of aerodynamics this shape is designed as a basics of aerodynamics this shape is to split the air while this flight is going to move in this forward direction this see this dome is going to split the air and is going to move fast whenever we are going to apply concept of aerodynamics we need to focus on shapes and it is related to the speed if you are going to move in speed then we need shape of aerodynamics right here the shape is also have a same replica in car or in a ship if we need to go in the shape of aerodynamics here there is a two wings and this is a body and this is a, a spoiler we have the spoiler here and we having two engines here this is one two engines this engine is called as jet engine it is not as a so it is not coming under the type of reciprocating engine this is coming under jet engine it has a turbine this turbine is going to rotate and the suction of air will occur through this section and it has a cd nozzle cd means convergent divergent nozzle and it is going to attain supersonic uh, flow of air right if you are going to test this uh, same shape here through a test trip so it is called as supersonic wind tunnel if you are going to apply this concept if see if somebody is going to design this shape so here we will check the shape by means of a supersonic wind tunnel right if you having a large duct it is a test trip i am telling if you having a large uh, duct then this is placed in a static manner and the flow of air is through a blower or a fan is going to occur on right here here the mach number is greater than 1 means it is equal to 343 meter per second simply we can't reach that much of speed by means of a blower or a fan right so here we need a uh, cd nozzle here uh, see here the cd nozzle means cd nozzle means convergent divergent nozzle here we having two wings and uh, here we are having this two engines right the speed of this jet is going to attain here see here this is the speed of jet engine is going to attain by means of a jet flow is going to occur here right now here we have the background so here we are having a, one component is called as elevator and having a two wings and when the flight is going to take off in this direction the flight jet is going to occur in the uh, see, see 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 this part see here it is going to see the jet is going to occur in this parts right now from the third law of newtons is going to move in forward direction then the jet is going to move in this backward direction and equal and opposite reaction is going to occur that reaction gives thrust to this uh, air bus